The problem with racism in football, at the grounds, what do you do about it? They don't know how to punish them. Someone shouts something, do you ban them from the ground? Do you educate them? What do you do? I've cracked it. This is how we stop racism in football grounds, like that, right? Someone shouts something racist in the crowd, the punishment, the best black player on his team is banned for one game. Who plays instead? Fucking him. <laughs> Let's get this fat white prick on the pitch. <laughs> See how he gets on. So Chelsea supporter shouts something racist. They've lost Angolo Kante for one game. Who they got in midfield? Fucking Tell from Acton. <laughs> He's wearing last year's replica kit, vaping, pastry in his sideburn. So like, all right, I've learned me lesson, I've learned me lesson. Fucking hell, I've got a stitch. It is ed it's education from a young age, I think. And I think it's happening. I do. Like, you know, children's telly now is more racially diverse. Have you noticed? Children's games more racially diverse. You played Guess Who recently? Do you remember Guess Who as a kid? Just a series of white people in hats and beards. Now, there's people from everywhere. Great, isn't it? Can be tricky. <laughs> Playing with a small child who has no concept. It's like, right. Is it a man? Yeah. He's got a hat? No. Beard? No. Glasses? Yeah. Is he? Is he? Is he black? No. So he's white? No, he's brown. No, no. No, no, you see, because there's black people and white people. No, these are all brown and pink, Daddy. I think you need to learn the colours again. <laughs> I've just done them in school. Fresh for me. <laughs> and essentially, he's bang on, isn't he? Why do we refer to each other as black people and white people? We're not black and white. And it sounds quite divisive, doesn't it? Black, white. Opposites, black, white people. It's aggressive. Wouldn't it be a nicer world if we called each other brown and pink people? <laughs> be like a cartoon world. The brown and pink people. There'd be less racism. You can't have a pink supremacist group. <laughs> Sounds like a girl band on the X Factor. <laughs> if I imagine the Ku Klux Klan coming towards you, <laughs> burning crosses, dressed all in pink. You'd be like, shit, breast cancer awareness, and I'm fucking around getting sponsors this year.